Hello, everybody. Welcome to Leech Wine TV. I am your host, Mark Fusco, here for another episode. Uh, we've got today, we're going to do a, a wine that you should be able to get pretty much everywhere. Uh, it's Penfold's Canunga Hill Shiraz Cabernet from South Australia, 2007 vintage. Got this uh, for $9.99 at HEB. Um, and yeah, I did say Shiraz, by the way. Um, the Australians are the ones that decided to name the grape Shiraz instead of saying Syrah. And that's how they pronounce it. They don't pronounce it Shiraz, even though that's you know how you pronounce that city in the Middle East. So, um, anyway... So we've got the Shiraz Cabernet Sauv, Cab Sauv, as I call it sometimes. Um, and this is a 70% Shiraz, 30% Cabernet Sauvignon. And um, what happens with this particular label is that they, um, they vary between six, 50 to, they said 65 plus percent, uh, depending on the year of Shiraz. So, so it's, uh, it's based upon that. And uh, then they throw a little Cabernet Sauvignon for good measure. Get some, I got some floral at the very end there. Definitely picking up the fruit. Um, by the way, this is uh, matured in, they said seasoned American and French oak for 12 months. This is the majority of it. And then some of it is... is um, aged in stainless steel. Hints of chocolate. Um, getting some deep, some dark red fruits, you know, deep fruit there. Um, hint of chocolate and then that initial floral thing, it's there. Then a little bit of fakeness, a little bit of fakeness. It said something about, uh, oh, I don't know. They had mentioned some specific fruits on their tasting notes, but I'm not tasting, I'm not smelling them specifically. But definitely a little bit of chocolate in there too. tannins but not overpowering that's kind of nice a little bit of spiciness <laughs> so I'm getting some I'm getting a little bit of heat. I think it's 13 and a half on the alcohol. 13 and a half alcohol. Might be a little bit higher. Getting some fruit, you know, getting some more of those, those redder fruits. Um, not really much on the chocolate. <clears throat> but um, I'd say it's not bad. Um, the esteemed Robert Parker. Uh, rated this particular vintage in 88. Um, prior vintages have been rated as high as 95 and I think maybe as low as 87. I don't know. Um, but it's tasty. It's got a little bit of sweetness to it. Not, not a whole heck of a lot. But I like the spiciness of it. And that's one of the things I like about Shiraz. Um, Syrah and, and Zinfandel's is there's some spiciness to it. Um, 88. I'll agree. 88. It's it's good. Uh, it's 10 bucks. It's it's worth it. Uh, I could see pairing this with some some good steak. Um, you don't need a thick steak for this, but I could see pairing it with some steak. Um, I could even see putting it with some. Uh, with some barbecued ribs, um, a little spiciness of, of say, a spicy, um, 
Uh, barbecue sauce, not necessarily, not necessarily a sweet sauce. You can do either one, I guess. Probably sweet would really complement it. Um, but put that with some uh, barbecued ribs or some... Uh, uh, you probably get away with a little barbecue chicken. Now, it's not a normal combination, but the sauce really is what I'm going with. Not like the, the chicken itself, but the sauce. Um, I probably wouldn't pair it with any pasta. Um, you could, but... Uh, you know, like the pasta that we had the other night, uh, the Chianti definitely uh, was, you know, a much better pairing. Uh, but I wouldn't really, con I really wouldn't, uh, I just like swirling. Um, <clears throat> I wouldn't really pair it with pasta. Uh, but definitely some meats, um, maybe some, uh, 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 what's, what am, I, what am I trying to, uh, maybe like a pot roast. Put some pot roast with it. That would probably go pretty well. Um. I mean, it's just, I feel like having some pot roast and I'm just kind of talking about the wine. So, yeah, I think it'd be a good pairing. So, 88. Uh, let's talk about the, the wine a little bit more. Uh, they, they get their fruit from three of the six major regions or zones in South Australia. They get them from uh, Barossa, McLaren Valley, and the Limestone Coast. Though, on the tasting notes, they had uh, Kawabara specifically. But, doing my little research, sometimes that particular part of the Limestone Coast is in dispute depending on where it is so um limestone coast uh that's also actually that was on the tasting notes but on their write-up they were a little more specific on in general i guess um like i said it's uh, 70 30 on this and blah blah blah. so um yeah good wine penfold's been around for a long time they were founded in 1844 by a gentleman from england who migrated or emigrated what do you want to say to uh south to australia uh, or South Australia, and uh, his name was Dr. Christopher Rawson Penfold. Uh, and he founded it in 19, I'm sorry, 1844. So it's been around quite a long time. Um, and you know, they're they're a well-known name. They're uh, they provide a decent value wine. Uh, and I, I've I've known of this uh, wine for quite a while. It's it was uh, one of the wines we had at one of my uh, restaurants that I worked at. Um, used to. The, the name just, I just love Kanunga. I love saying Kanunga. It's a great name. It's a great word. Um, and uh, I remember having it way back then and thought it was pretty good. So when we got it, I was like, yeah, this is uh, this will work. Um, okay, so what else? Sami A School was put up yesterday, so make sure you hit that. Remember, it's a web only content. Uh oh, time's up. Click the links, friend me up on Twitter, Facebook, email me, leave the comments. Like James Bond, baby. I got to get up out of here, man. Talk to everybody again next time.